Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche Design. In this video, you're going to learn how to convert a color image to black and white in Adobe Photoshop. Let's start by bringing in a black and white adjustment layer. Next, play with the red and yellow sliders to your liking. Go to the Channels tab and activate the red channel. Now click on the Load Channel as Selection button. Activate the RGB channel, then go back to the Layers tab. Bring in a Curves Adjustment layer and the Marching Ant selection should automatically be applied as a layer mask. Change the Blend Mode to Soft Light, then bring the Curves line up a bit in the Highlights area and down a bit in the Shadows area to improve the overall contrast. Create a brand new layer and rename it to Sharpen. Activate the Sharpen tool from the toolbar and make sure the strength is set to 25% and both the sample all layers and protect details are checked. Now carefully paint over the Eiffel Tower to sharpen it. Create another layer and rename it to Brighten. Change the Blend Mode to Color Dodge, then click on FX and choose Blending Options. Uncheck Transparency Shapes layer which is telling Photoshop to not use transparency as a boundary. Activate the brush tool and make sure the flow is set to 5% and the foreground color is set to white. Now slowly paint over the bottom half of the Eiffel Tower to brighten it. Bring in a curves adjustment layer and change the blend mode to soft light. Select the layer mask, then activate the gradient tool from the toolbar. From the gradient dropdown, make sure foreground to background is selected and ensure that the linear gradient button is pushed. Hold the shift key and draw a gradient line from the top to the bottom. Since the soft light blend mode darkens the image a bit, we want the darkening to mostly be applied to the top half of the image. Bring the curves line up a bit in the highlights area and down a bit in the shadows area to further increase the contrast. Now duplicate this layer and reduce the opacity of the new layer to 50%. Finally, let's look at the before and after images. Looks good to me. Make sure you like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.